Hello, guys. Hello. Quick check, talk about the life at welterweight, man. Is it just as simple as, like, I don't have a hard weight cut on fight week, or is it, like, more, like, life-changing or more encompassing than just that? Yeah, it's been a, a good change, not just uh, because of the, the, the amount of weight that I, that I don't have to cut, but um, my, my, my health, my mental health is, is, is really important, too. So uh, I have a, a better quality in, you know, in, my, in my routine, and I can just focus in, in my performance and not, you know. It's crazy to think that I, I, I used to cut for 145. It's too crazy. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a tall guy, but I have a lot of a lot of good muscles. It's hard to cut it, so it's been it's been good to be a welterweight. Yeah, and you've had success at welterweight. I do wonder, like, when you first, was there like almost a fear, like the first time you step in there, like, am I going to be too small? Am I going to be weak? Because it just seems, you know, weight cutting is such a part of our sport, but it's just like a, a mindset thing, right? Was that challenging to be like, I'm going to be okay here? Exactly. Uh, I think it's all about mindset. I think the great champions, the great fighters, they they prove for for the you know for everybody that I I I see a lot of people still talking about measures about how tall or how you know how big some some guy is, but uh, I don't think uh, it matter. I, I, what matters to me is the is the is the size of your your heart of your spirit. If you have a uh, the desire the the you know the the will to win. You you will. Uh, I think a lot of a lot of fighters. You, you see a lot of uh, uh, nowadays. You can see a lot of double champions. You know, and they are, they are successfully when they they go up. When you, they try to go down, like uh, DJ Delashaw, they they came up short. So I think uh, sometimes uh, is a is a is a good option to you know to to change your your weight to go up, you're gonna get some, some muscles. You're not, gonna, you're, you're not gonna get smaller, you're gonna get stronger. Yeah, absolutely. All right, talk about this matchup. Obviously, you had a big win last time out over a name, but I, when I think of MVP, I think of kind of a, a face of the company, you know, somebody that's been a star for a long time. Did this, did this excite you when this was the name that, that, that you got? Of course. Um, this fight comes in the, in the right time. So, uh, but unfortunately for him, it's my time to shine. Uh, your striking has improved over the years. It's, it's good. I mean, it's, it was always good, but this seems like a fight where you might want to use your grappling skills, but you tell me, I mean, do you want to go out there and let, hey, let's see if I can kickbox with a kickboxer, or is it like, eh, let's just go with what we know we know? <laughs> of course. Of course. Um, like I said yesterday, um, don't underestimate any fighter, especially me. Don't underestimate my, my, my striking game because I've been working my striking game since I was uh, 10 years old. I'm not... You know, I, I was very, uh, for, for all this year, I was very uh, patient in, uh, in the matters of uh, my, my striking skills because uh, my, my focus always in def being defensive, working grappling, and I knew that my skill would come, uh, eventually would come, so that's what's happening now. I'm 30, so I think I had a lot of time to, to train my, my, in my striking game, and you, people will... People will see a lot of my striking game now. We will just keep getting better every day, and I will um, probably be, um, you know, a dangerous striker. Last thing for me, uh, big fight here, of course. I mean, you guys have both been around the organization forever, two no names. Is this a number one contender fight? Is, is, is the winner fighting for a title here? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. This is um, Michael. Michael Page is uh, he's a. He was actually the number one contender. Now, Storley, come back to the to the rankings. Um, but yeah, um, he just he just fought for the title, and I think uh, this uh, this win will will guarantee the title for for my next fight. Is that something that that's just incredibly satisfying to you? I mean, like John said, you've been here for a long time. Ten, read about ten years, right? Yeah. Three weight classes and and. This is the closest you've probably sniffed, you know, to a title shot. So it's, it seems like it's the culmination of an entire career right here. So talk to me a little bit about the emotion that comes with that, and kind of the the mental edge that you try and give yourself when you're in a situation like that. Yeah, um, I believe uh, good things takes time. Good things takes time to happen. Uh, I had um, I had some opportunities in, in in my in my in my past weights. Weight class like 145. I think 145, 155. I, I was, 
I was pretty close to, to fight for the title. My, my, so I, I think uh, it's, all, it's all about timing, sport, um, the, 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 the fight game is all about timing. And um, you should be very um, patient to still uh, compete in the high level and take no, no damage. And that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. No damage, patience. I know my time is, is coming. And yeah, my time is coming. Friday will be the time. Talk about that a little bit because you're still, you're 30, right? Yeah. You're still young in this sport, right? So, yeah. But it feels like you've been around forever. <laughs> uh, talk a little bit about the run that you're on right now. Six to seven, right? And the one loss, to be kind, was debatable at best, right? So d does it feel like you, you've won seven in a row instead of six or seven? And, and where is that momentum, I guess, coming from? What, what sort of switch did you flip that, uh, that you're so tough right now? Yeah, um, I still feel like um, I'm, I'm a beginner. Still, f the, like, like people say, uh, white belt mentality. Um, I think I'm always, um, you know, it's not just about the year, the month, but um, every day you should you should learn something new. So I, I think I I live this um, I live the the best moment of my life now. Not just in the in the fight game, the fight business, but um, as a man, as a as a as an athlete and as a fighter, uh, much more uh, not just experienced, but um, much more uh, conscious about about my skills, about my about what I'm capable of. Um, I believe myself, I believe my team, and um, good times will, will come for all of us. Koichi, uh, there was a video Bellator posted a couple minutes ago, uh, MVP talking about, and you know, I don't sleep on his ground game either, he's like, I got jujitsu as well. Do you think he's just kind of saying that, or is there any chance you think he'll play with you uh, on the ground at all? <laughs> um, Honestly, I don't think he's going to, uh, you know, to accept the grappling. It's it's kind of obviously, he'll try to stand up and, and try to avoid my 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 takedown attempts. But um, I know he 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 worked a lot in his defense. I I I, I know that, and all I need to do is to exploit his uh, his weaknesses, and that's what I'm gonna try to to do Friday night. Absolutely. Best of luck, man. Thank you so much.